This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Two men arrested following seizure of assault rifle. Two men are now in custody following the seizure of an FN Cal assault rifle during a joint police military operation on Granville Drive, Granville St. James, on Thursday. Lawmen say about 3.30 p.m., premises occupied by the two men were searched and the illegal firearm was found. The men were subsequently taken into custody. Their identities, however, are being withheld pending further investigation. Two men arrested in relation to cocaine seizure. Two men were arrested in connection with the seizure of a quantity of cocaine during an operation on Mountain View Avenue in Kingston 2 on Friday, April 23. Reports are that about 10 a.m., lawmen were conducting anti-narcotics operations in the area when the driver of a Toyota Pro Box motor car was signaled to stop. He complied and the vehicle along with its occupants was searched, and approximately 0.227 kilograms of compressed cocaine was found. The illicit drug and the motor car were seized and the men were taken into custody. However, their identities are being withheld pending further investigations. The estimated street value of the drug is over $295,100. 16-year-old was reportedly driving car which crashed, killing four in Kingston. Police say they have received information that suggested that a 16-year-old boy was the driver of the vehicle that crashed along Marcus Garvey Drive in Kingston, resulting in the death of four persons on Friday night. Two teenagers were among the four persons who died in the crash. The deceased have been identified as 23-year-old Javian Dove of Barracks Road in St. James, 18-year-old Krishana Ellis of a St. Catherine address, 16-year-old Omar Patterson of Taz Meadows in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, and 20-year-old Anthony Samuels of Ellerslie Pen, also in Spanish Town. Further reports are that about 11.45 p.m., all four persons were traveling in a Honda motor car on Marcos Garvey Drive heading towards Portmore with Patterson, the driver, when on reaching a section of the roadway, the driver lost control of the vehicle which crashed into a utility pole. The four occupants of the car were subsequently rushed to the hospital where they were all pronounced dead. An investigation is ongoing into the development. Man who fired shot at woman charged. Detectives assigned to the Hunts Bay Police arrested and charged 20-year-old Malik Johnson, otherwise called Rolf, of Palm Grove Court, Kingston 11, following an incident on Uganda Drive, Payne Avenue in the parish on Wednesday, April 7. Reports from the police are that about 11.30 a.m., the complainant was standing on the roadway when Johnson approached her and pulled a firearm, firing a shot at her. The matter was subsequently reported to the police and Johnson was arrested on Friday, April 9 and charged on Saturday, April 17 after a question and answer interview. Johnson's court date is being finalized. Man who fired at the police charged, firearm and ammunition seized. Members of the constabulary assigned to the Clarendon Division arrested and charged 32-year-old Devon Blair, otherwise called Avatar or Dev, a fisherman of Bailey's Avenue in Clarendon, following an operation at his home on Thursday, April 15. Blair was charged with shooting with intent and illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. Reports from the Maypen police are that about 5.30 a.m., the police visited Blair's home and upon arrival, they were met with gunshots. The officers returned fire and after the shooting subsided, Blair was found on the ground with gunshot wounds one Glock 17 9mm pistol and 87 9mm rounds of ammunition were found in his possession. Blair was taken to the hospital where he was admitted on the police guard. His court date is being finalized. Search on for 13-year-old girl gone missing in Portmore. An Ananda alert has been activated and a search is on for 13-year-old Ryan Reed, a student of Port Henderson Road in Portmore, St. Catherine, who has been missing since Saturday, April 24. She is of brown complexion, medium build, and about 165 centimeters tall. Reports from the Bridgeport Police are that Ryan Jareed was last seen in her community at about 5.10 p.m. She has not been heard from since then. When last seen, she was wearing a black blouse, black pants, and a pair of gray slippers. 
Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Ray Andrew Reed is being asked to contact the Bridgeport Police at 876-988-2697, the Police 119 emergency number, or the nearest police station. Clarendon Police in mourning for fourth time in eight months. The Clarendon Police have been plunged into mourning for the second time this month following the death of Corporal Michael Mitchell. Two other cops have also died in the past eight months. Mitchell died suddenly on Friday. The news understands that he had a brain tumor. He died only a day after the cops had buried colleague Sergeant Tamisha Powell on Thursday. Mitchell, who was assigned to the Agraton Enforcement Team at the time of his passing, served the Jamaica Constabulary Force for almost three decades. Deemed an all-rounder, he served the Exeter, Chapelton, and Maypen police stations and was a member of the Clarendon Operational Team. Superintendent Christopher Phillips, head of operations for the Clarendon Police, described Mitchell as a respectful cop who was a mentor to others. Mitchell was a hardworking, jovial, respectful, and knowledgeable police who was always willing to share with and guide his juniors, he said. Phillips said the team's grief has been compounded by the fact that they have lost four colleagues in less than a year. Corporal Mitchell's passing has rocked the division as the day before we laid Sergeant Tamisha Powell to rest. In fact, we have lost three corporals and one sergeant within the last eight months. And so again, we are thrust back into a state of mourning, Phillips told the news. We will certainly miss Mitchell from the team, but we will continue to honor him by living up to the good principles he represented, he said. Police seized second firearm following deadly shootout at St. Elizabeth and Westmoreland border. Police are reporting that a targeted operation was conducted in the community of Kilmarnock yesterday, resulting in a seizure of a second firearm following an alleged shootout on Thursday in the area where three alleged gunmen were killed and a gun seized. A police source told the news that the almost two-hour operation on Saturday resulted in a 9mm pistol with five 9mm cartridges being seized during the search of a premises. The serial number and the make of the firearm were not visible and no one was arrested in connection with the seizure. This follows a deadly shootout in the community which borders St. Elizabeth and Westmoreland late Thursday night. According to reports, a motorist was held up at gunpoint and his vehicle stolen in White House, Westmoreland. Acting on information, the police intercepted a stolen car with four men aboard in Kilmarnock. The constabulary's corporate communication unit told the news that about 11.05 p.m., the police were engaged in a shootout with the gunmen. When the shooting subsided, three men were seen suffering from gunshot wounds and taken to hospital, where they were pronounced dead. The fourth man, who it is alleged tried to flee the scene, was found at a nearby premises. A Browning pistol was seized and the matter reported to the Independent Commission of Investigations. The police have issued an appeal for assistance in identifying the deceased men. Anyone with information on the identity of the deceased men is being urged to contact the Black River Criminal Investigation Branch at 876-965-2026. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.